Hey there, I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. So, uh, you've gotten yourself a Coco SDC. Now what? One of the nice things about the Coco SDC is that it does not matter whether you have a Coco 1, a Coco 2, or a Coco 3 because, well, it works in all of them. But what about putting the games on it to play? Well, you could go through, find the individual games, download them, transfer the file over to the SD card, plug the SD card into the SDC, play the game for a little bit, then go find another game, etc, etc. But that takes a lot of time. I'm going to show you something a little bit easier because located on the Color Computer Archive is a file you can download that has, well, just about everything. So I'm going to show you where that file is. We'll put it on an SD card, plug it into my Coco 3 and have a look at what really is there for just about everything. And here we are in the TRS-80 Color Computer Archive, and I will put a link directly to this page down in the description. So what we are looking for is this Coco SDC image, and as you can see, it was recently updated on the 11th of February. So, we click on that, we save it, And I'm just going to jump ahead to the finishing of saving this because my internet seems to be really slow. And there we go. It is finally saved. And yes, my internet is snail's pace slow today because that took a lot longer than it should. All right. So we will just make this a little bit smaller. And we can see right here I have my empty SD card, which I'm going to be using for my... Coco SDC. Open the file up. There we go. And I could either just highlight everything and move it all over, or you could always just extract the file, but I don't. It's just as easy to do that. So this will take another couple of minutes. So I will see you in a minute. And there we are. Everything is copied over. So as you can see, there is a whole lot of things. And one of the nice things is here you can see your SDC Explorer is already set up. If you're not using this program and you do want to set up the SDC Explorer on an SD card that you want to make yourself, I did do a video about that. I'll link that at the top of the screen. But let's take this out of the computer and fire up the Coco 3 and take a look at what is going on. All right, here we are on our Color Computer 3. Got the Coco STC all ready to go. Let's turn it on and take a look. And of course, since this is the first time of loading up the program, you've got to configure your SDC Explorer. So, restore last session. I went over all of this in that uh, video that I just talked about. So, um, so we'll change the background color. Let's change it to red. And I guess that is good enough. So here we go. So there is a lot of programs on here. You've got a whole lot of apps. So if you would like to maybe use your computer for, I don't know, accounting. You could uh, load up an accounting app. And uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of productivity apps like that. So you could uh, use your Color Computer 3 
or one or two like it was the 1980s. But of course, what are people most interested in? Well, games. And there are a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them on here. Hundreds of games. All through the entire alphabet, of course, all alphabetically, um, alphabetically uh, sorted for you. All right, so here we are back in the main menu, and I wanted to show you one of the nice things on here that you may not think about uh, if you're just finding your own games and putting them on a card and that is the educational games. So let's say you have some kids or nieces or nephews or friends kids over. Well, you can show off what we used to do back in the 80s when we were little kids. And uh, boot up some of the educational games that we had. And let them play learning games like it was the 1980s again. Another thing that this collection includes is various Nitrous 9 things as well as the EOU, Ease of Use which if you are um, following my channel, you'll know I have been doing some work on looking at uh, the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project as well as Basic 09. So you can load it up straight from this file collection as well as uh, making your own file like I showed you in my videos. So another nice thing about this collection of programs is that it does include all of the listings of programs that were printed in the various publications. So let's say you're perusing your collection of rainbow magazines and you've got your January 1987 um, copy here. As you can see, that's the 1987 copy. Well, and you find a program that you particularly are interested in, like uh, this one here. It's a program that's printed in here that uh, shows off a lot of the different uh, shades of color you can use on the Color Computer 3. And it's by Rick Adams and Dale Lear. And yes, that Rick Adams, the one that wrote Temple of Rom, one of my favorite games. So you go down and look and oh here's the listing for the program. Eh, well it's not that long you could type that in by hand if you wanted to or you could go into the collection here go into magazines go down to rainbow and that was the January 1987, so that would be the first publication of 1987. Let's take a look, and there it is, color three. That was a lot easier than having to type that program in. And this is what it looks like on RGB. And that's what it looks like on composite. There is so much stuff on this collection. I mean, there's all of these, uh, the educational games, the regular games, Nitrous 9, all the magazine programs, a bunch of uh, music discs, 
Um, <clears throat> some different ROMs that you can use. Uh, utilities. There are so many different utility programs included in here. But the last thing I want to show you here is it has a whole collection of Sierra games. Space Quest, uh, King's Quest, um, those are the ones that I usually play is uh, King's Quest or Space Quest. Also included is a very handy entire file of save disks that you can use for saving the uh, games when you play them. So let's just take a look at King's Quest 1. How it looks on the Color Computer 3. And there we go. Jump right in to playing King's Quest. Ah, I fell into the river. Well, that is just a look at a few of the programs that you'll get if you download this giant file. Now, remember, uh, there are some programs on there that will only work on the Coco 3. There are also some programs that will only work on the Coco 1 or 2. But most of them will work on all three computers. And I hope that seeing this large file of so many programs is something that will convince you if you're on the fence about getting a Coco SDC that you should get one for your color computer because they are amazing. I highly recommend them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. And hey, if you didn't like the video, then a thumbs down is also letting me know that uh, what you thought. So uh, hey, it's all good. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.